on the bench today, we have a preservation uh, job. Uh, this is a Stevens Model 311D. It is a double barrel shotgun uh, with Damascus steel. Uh, very, very beautiful. I don't know if you can see the Damascus coming through there. Very beautiful Damascus. Uh, the blue on it is in great condition. Uh, the issues are that the wood furniture is a little rough, so the customer has requested that we strip it all down, the wood specifically, and we restain it. They wanted a darker, like, a uh, walnut stain because the they had the uh, single version of this. This is a 20 gauge, by the way. Uh, I believe so. Hold on. Yeah, this is a 20 gauge. Yep, 20 gauge right there. <laughs> three, in, uh, three inch uh, chamber, so 20 gauge. But they have requested that we strip all this off, do a dark walnut so it'll be similar to their single barrel that they have. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apart and we're going to uh, check all the mechanics, make sure everything's fine. I think this, I think there might be something wrong with the spring, but I'm, I'll check. But I uh, just wanted to look over. Like I said, there's no real big dings or dents in here, but we do want to take it apart and do inspect it just to find out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take this apart. Let's get a screwdriver down here. All right. Interesting. Got three holes down here. I think this stock is secondary, but we're going to go ahead and uh, take this out. Screws up in this top hole here. Let me uh, finagle this a little bit because I might knock the camera down, but let me finagle this a little bit and I'll be right back. All right. Got it apart. The, there was a couple of screws that I needed to take out. Like, uh, I need to take this one out too, but there's a couple of screws that need to come out. Then we're going to keep these parts together real quick, just to make sure that we don't lose anything. It's kind of my taping. It's kind of my system for keeping parts together until I'm ready to, you know, do something else with them. So we'll tape these up. Put those parts in my handy dandy little storage container here. Bolt needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. And then this is the one, this little pin is the one that came off right here, which I'm not 100% oh, came off right here. So I'm not 100% about that. So I'm gonna just drop that in there. So now I've got the metal work set aside. I'm just gonna do a quick inspection of all of this to make sure there's no real big dings. And so there's a big scratch it goes up right down here. That's might need to be filled. Dings are fine because it compresses the material, scratches are not because it cuts the fibers. So. Hmm. I see a crack right there. And it, you know, a crack goes pretty, I don't know how deep it goes. So we'll probably have to use a urethane glue or some, uh, something right there. To stop that. Ford grip. Looks in excellent shape major cuts or bruises or bangs or anything so what we're going to do is we're going to put some uh pin or some screws on this real quick uh we got these little hooks right here that we will use to um well we're going to use them to <clears throat> so we can hang these up while we're clean while we're uh cleaning and staining and we're going to put them in a place that no one's ever going to see them so uh that's why i put them on this little these holes right here Uh, we'll put this one right. I'll put this one right here, and then what I'm going to do is uh, next I'm going to get this reset, and we're going to put some uh, put some citrus strip on this so we can get all this material off and get ready to uh, start the next process. So come back and we'll do some citrus strip. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to just douse this in citrus strip. All these parts. We're just going to cover them in citrus strip, then we're going to wrap them up in some plastic bags. Uh, Pro tip, don't worry about getting like a cling wrap or something. Anytime you go to like a, uh, you know, grocery store, we live close to a food line. Uh, get these bags because you can wrap them up two or three times and you don't have to keep them under your sink like we do. <laughs> so the objective here is, uh, again, wearing gloves for this because the stuff's not 
that won't hurt you so much, but it is abrasive or it is caustic, if you will. And so, you know, why take the risk, right? So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wrap these pieces up. Start with one bag first. Objective is to try to keep all the, the moisture and whatnot in here. And that way it sits on it a little nicer. And you can just twist it like this because that stuff's kind of clingy and sticky. Get this last bag right here. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. Move this out of the way. Let this set for 24 hours come back and then we'll scrape it off with a card. Uh, see you there. All right, it has been uh, a day or so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unwrap this, take a look at it, see if we need to reapply uh, and we'll go from there. All right, you can see how it looks right here. So we're just gonna take this card real quick. It's just a, you know, hotel card. We'll see what happens when we try to scrape it off. This is not scratching into the wood here. What we're doing is we're just removing the varnish. That's just all varnish. This isn't wood or anything coming off. This is just varnish. And this just gives a little bit more strength as opposed to the card. Sometimes you can do it with the card. Sometimes you need uh, something a little stronger. So I'm just gonna keep uh, at it like this. I'm gonna check, check on this one real quick. Yeah, you see how that varnish has just come right on off too. All right, got that. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more. Uh, take the wire brush, or no, this nylon brush. We're gonna clean it up in here a little bit more. And then we're gonna neutralize all this with some uh, alcohol wipes. And we'll, uh, so we got that cleaned up. Use some nail polish remover to get, uh, remove the last little bits of it. So we're gonna move on to the next step, which is going to be sanding, uh, sanding this uh, and raising the grain. So we're gonna do that uh, with a tried and true method. We're gonna start with 100, uh, sand this down. We're gonna. Be very careful around the checkering here on all sides. Uh, and then, just uh, hit that a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hit it with some hot water, dry it off, raise the grain, hit it with 150, um, sand it down again, being careful here, hit it with water again, uh, uh, raise the grain, dry it off, hit it with 220. So we'll do that. All right, got that taped up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some one, uh, 100 real quick, and we'll get that started. I'm going to use these uh, pads right here, these sandblaster pads, but I'm not going to actually use the sand. I'm gonna eat, hand sand this, so I'm just going to get started. I'm gonna keep at this. Uh, again, I'm not gonna have you watch the whole process of just sanding this all off, but uh, I'll come back when I'm ready to raise the grain. All right, got that cleaned up. So now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go get some water. We're gonna soak this down and then we're gonna hit it with, where's my heat gun? Hit it with this heat gun here to dry it off, raise the grain and then do uh, 150. This is a two-part process. It helps, one, it helps uh, clean it up, and it also helps raise the grain in it, uh, helps raise uh, grain so if there's dents or dings, which there are a few, uh, it'll help clean those out. So let's move this out of the way because electricity and water don't mix. Okay. 
so you can see how the grain is really raised on that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to I'll fold this up because I don't want this getting wet. Fold this over. I'm going to switch over to our 150. All right, I'm gonna keep at it and I'll come back when I'm ready to water it down again. All right, I'm gonna wet it down again. <clears throat> and then by the way, this process is taking, you know, 20, 30 minutes in between each of this. So this is taking some time. Make sure this is plugged in. All right, uh, go get the 220 sandpaper and I'll start on that. I'm gonna keep at it and when I'm done, I'll, uh, we'll come right back and take a look at it. All right, so got all that cleaned up, got this one sanded down to uh, looking good, nice and but buttery smooth, um, you know, with that 220. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to, again, we've got this one right here, but um, I think we can get that out in a little bit, but just checking to make sure there's no cracks or anything. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stain it with uh, this dark walnut we have right here. This is Minwax, this dark walnut. So I'm going to get some gloves on. So now I'm gonna set that right here and I'm gonna go hang this up on my hook over here. All right, and I'll take a picture and show you what, what this looks like hanging up. So now we're gonna hang this one up too. So I'm gonna let that sit for 15 minutes and then I'm going to wipe it down uh, and we'll go from there. So here's the finished product. Uh, I didn't uh, get video of me doing the next two coats and I didn't get video of me doing a test fire because the time ran out for me to get this back to the customer. So you get to see what the finished product look like that I get to show other people. This is my Stevens 311D that I worked on for a customer. Thanks for watching.